Secret TV, Buddies at Smooth Oyster, World Fashion. Okay. So this was an amazing show. After the white paper, we are going to, s to the past now? Is no, what past? past? What past? There is no past. It's the idea of a certain kind of past, which is why we call it the Chanel Beau Brumel, because it was, was the man who put men into dark suit with white shirts and white caps instead of having the, the freely 18th century colorful look for men before. But this is also an idea very Chanel, very parallel, so I only accelerated, oversized it and make it different and, and make kind of jewelry out of it. But instead, in, in the past, where I touched the shirt and, 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 and sleeve, this is all detachable and it's like a new kind of jewelry out of silk, wool, knit, everything. Everything, huh? If you read the newspaper, the feeling is not that happy, so I'm lucky uh, that you had the impression of happiness. You know, I don't like male models in the classic way, so I only take people I really know well, who are friends and they're all friendly together. And you know, those clothes they had on exist for women too, huh? they, but I don't put them on the, on the runway because Chanel took so many looks for men that it's interesting also to have a proposition for men today in the mood of Chanel. And Women can wear them, and men too, because it's like jeans, uh, anorak's t-shirt. There is no gender for those. Huh? What is your favorite music at the moment? What do you listen to? Uh, Metromonie, uh, Franz Ferdinand. That is what I'm listening uh, most to for the moment. Do you get some inspirations from music yes, and from literature? You get it, yeah, but I don't put it into words, you know. Yeah. It, it's very difficult to say. But for the moment, uh, this morning when I got dressed, I was li listening to Metromini. And what are your favorite I read, books? You know, I read many books in different languages. For the moment, I'm reading Ghost Stories by Edith Wharton, a genius. And how do you find the time for so much... Uh Only or, uh, busy people find time. You never ask somebody who's doing nothing to, to help you to do something for you. Only busy people have time. You are always called to be the godfather of, of fashion. I'm How do you like it? To be I'm, I'm just a godfather. <laughs> huh? No, it's okay. I, I'm very mafia. Huh? <laughs> okay. Like a nice one. Nice. I only kill with work. <laughs> Carl is a bit of a hero to Rach. <laughs> Ever since I read the book The Beautiful Fall, which is all about uh, Carl Lagerfeld and Yves Saint Laurent and their historical rise through fashion, I fell in love with Carl. <laughs> he is such an inspiring and really creative, amazing person. And his creations yeah. back then are still relevant today. So, like, mm. all of his um, pieces. It's so timeless. timeless. Yeah. It's like if you look at anything he's designed over the era, it could still be worn era after era. He exactly. yeah, never looks to the past, he always looks to the future. So yeah. he's always looking for the new and what's coming next. The idea for the shoot um, came after we were thinking about Carl's life and how we could incorporate like an intrinsic element within the shoot to make it look really like Carl. So then we thought, okay, he shoots a lot of his own campaigns and we wanted to work in the idea of using a camera so the different cars could shoot each other. Your feet over the top, yep. and then looking down like that. Yep. And then put, and once you really get into it, you can actually pretend you're shooting me and not, no worries. and not actually worry about me and I'll shoot around you guys. Okay, great. We're shooting at Sun Studios and we're working with Terence Chin. He's a really good photographer. He's worked with Oyster a lot over the years. He works really well in black and white and with Lani as well, so we thought it would be the perfect fit for the story. Like we had to work out an exact composition to be able to to run it across the double page, so he's really good at composition. He always creates an interesting vibe. Uh, I guess I was just thinking of, of references, and this old movie called Block came to mind. And there's an amazing scene where David Hemmings uh, was shooting Varushka, and he's meant to be like David Bailey in the 60s. It's quite classic in terms of what people think you know, photographers are like when they shoot. I saw it, I was just like, wow, I want to be a fashion photographer. When they said, you know, Carl shooting himself, like, that came to mind. The collection as a whole, it's got a lot of skinny legs, black jeans, it's got a lot of classic white shirts, but with interesting detail. Carl really loves um, interesting colours, so what we've actually worked with today is one of the really cool ladies' shirts that has like a really big... Like a kind ruffle. Of, yeah, yeah, a ruffle on it. Yeah. And there's a lot of... Uh, uh, jackets, black, straight, skinny.
skinny jackets, which is a classic Carl piece. Yeah. So after having viewed the collection, we decided like there were so many pieces that could easily be transferred to a Carl look like, so that's where the inspiration came from. And we kind of used that to do a parody, so using these two models and then um, basing it around Carl's quite distinct style. So it's the female version of Carl and the male version of Carl. Have you seen Carla Lagerfeld? She's looking pretty fit. It, is, it, it does have a slightly sort of, you know, um, larger than life presence to it, and he's totally recognisable, you know, so the look has almost become the brand in a way. Lots of black and white, like his classic palette that he takes throughout all his collections. So skinny ties, that okay, like Carl does. Um, fingerless gloves, lots of jewellery. Yeah, lots of rings, lots of tie embellishment. Yeah. He loves vintage stuff, yeah. so it's kind of really worked a vintage angle. It's quite over stylized to be just like Carl. So this um, shoot we're appearing in the August September issue, issue 83, and the theme is Outsider, which fits in quite perfectly with this because we're, as viewers, are kind of like the boys watching in as Carl shoots himself. It's got kind of a kind of voyeuristic, narcissistic appeal to it. Yeah. Take a look at Carl, and that's okay by Carl. Hi. Hi. I'm Carl. Hi, I'm Hi, Carl. 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 Hi, Carl.